Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am the Maze Madman. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Drop your comments in the comment section and hit that notification bell so you are aware every time we upload a video. Today we're going to be discussing Jim Harbaugh and his future at Michigan as well as Michigan trying to close out with some recruits in the 2023 class and what 2024 and beyond recruits are saying about Michigan. Plus, I'm upset. Paul Feinbaum and his continued disrespect of Jim Harbaugh in Michigan is disrespect. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. I'm mad because Paul Feinbaum seems to have Michigan and Jim Harbaugh in his crosshairs all the time. The mouth of the South, the voice of the SEC, ESPN, SEC, they're in bed together. Yet a Big Ten team so far north, it's damn near Canada, is all he seems to talk about on a regular basis. This time he's disrespecting Jim, calling him a choke artist. And I will say the the record is what it is. However, that does not tell the entire story. Jim Harbaugh is one in six in bowl games since returning to Michigan as the head coach. However, the program was in the toilet when Jim arrived. He has absolutely turned it around, right? We have defeated our arch rival, the other state, two years running. We are back-to-back -back Big Ten champions, back-to-back -back college football playoff participants we did lose in the semifinal round of both of those both of those years however we got to the dance i will concede it is time for us to take the the girl home but you have to start by being there right and we are there and and jim harbaugh has done a phenomenal job in his time at michigan he's had multiple top 10 multiple top five recruiting classes since he's been back He's even out recruited the other state in a couple of those years, which is not easy to do at Michigan due to um, a, a multitude of reasons and none, not the least of which anyway, academics. So it is a, a positive situation that Michigan finds themselves in right now, even though everyone is emotional and coming off of that, coming off of that loss to TS, TSU, TCU. I understand, and I understand the fan base being on edge when all the rumors were circulating about Jim Harbaugh, but he is once again, and let's move off from Paul Feinbaum now, Jim has once again quelled those rumors, dispelled those rumors. He recently sat down with Queen City saying, I quote, I believe I will be back at Michigan for the 2023 season. That's two times in less than a month that Mich that Jim has now said he plans to be the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines in 2023. I don't know what more the fan base wants. That should be enough, but who knows? Moving right along, Michigan is still in on a handful of 2023 targets, including Jamel Howard, the former Wisconsin defensive lineman commit, uh, decommitted from Wisconsin back in November and has been at the top of the list in terms of defensive targets, defensive line targets for Michigan since he has been crystal ball to Michigan. Hopefully Michigan can close with Jamel Howard here soon. Obviously five-star athlete out of Washington, DC, Nicholas Harbor is at the very top of Michigan's wish list. And he recently uh, had this to say, about Michigan saying, quote, you've seen that they've gone to the playoffs back to back, even though they lost, it was still a good season as they went 13 and one. Of course, speaking about Michigan, in addition to Nicholas Harbor and Jamel Howard, uh, Michigan is obviously in on a ton of recruits in the 2024 class and beyond. Michigan recently made the top 10 for top 100 2024 wide receiver out of Long Beach, California, Ryan Pelham, over the weekend. Um, Pelham made an unofficial visit to Michigan back in the spring, but did not return uh, for a visit in the fall. However, in speaking with 
the Pelham family. Michigan was a school that stood out on their travels last year, so it wouldn't be surprising to see him in Ann Arbor again this offseason. In addition to Pelham, Michigan made the top eight um, for four-star um, out of Tampa, Florida, wide receiver Zycaro Lewis. Uh, UM put an offer on the table for Lewis back in May when Bellamy stopped by his high school during the spring evaluation period. In addition to those two wide receivers, Michigan is also in on defensive lineman Heaven Brown Schuler. They made the top 13 for him in the 2024 class. He is a top 100 defensive lineman. In addition to those recruits in the 2024 class, Michigan is also keeping tabs on 2025 elite linebacker Carlton Smith out of powerhouse Baltimore St. Francis. You may remember or have heard St. Francis as Michigan has dip, been dipping in the St. Francis pool now for a few years as former Michigan assistant Biff Pogge used to be the head coach at Baltimore St. Francis. Guys like Blake Corum and Iabi Oki also came out of Baltimore St. Francis. And speaking with Carlton Smith, he had this to say about Michigan. Getting that Michigan officer offer was a crazy experience. It was definitely big. It showed me that I needed to keep working. Michigan set the standard for how I play in my recruitment. I never thought I would get that offer so young. It was a big deal. He also went on to say Michigan is different. I like them a lot. They seem like they have a good coaching staff, and I've been reaching out to them and keeping in touch. We have some guys from St. Francis that go there, like Blake Corum. Our old coach, Biff, was a coach there. There are a lot of connections. So Michigan building connections with Carlton Smith. We'll keep tabs on that. Until next time, though, make sure you smash and like, smash that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments. What do you think about uh, the updates with Jim Harbaugh? What do you think about what Michigan should do going forward as it relates to Jim Harbaugh? Maybe uh, some contract extension. I know he just got a contract extension last offseason, actually, but maybe Michigan can make him. Uh, the highest paid coach in college football, maybe that may be appealing to Jim. Who knows? But let me know what you think in the comment section. And until next time, I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be our best season ever. All right, all right, now, now I'm gonna calm down. So I'm gonna calm down. So I don't, I don't, I just don't get that all that mason and lock and all that puff. I just don't get it. So bad. And how the